How was up, y'all? It's Papa with Cracking. It's D. About to react to this album and preach vid is titled Bring Back Shame. Damn. Okay, let, let's see what's going on. Let's watch. I'm dating a broke guy, and it really, really sucks That's because he has the best personality, hands down. I have so much fun with him, and but it's like it's gotten to the point where right now I'm not doing as financially well as I normally do. So you're so a broke girl dating a broke guy. You're not dating <laughs> right, a broke on guy. The same level. You're two people that are broke together. Don't yeah, put that shit on him. Shit, you broke too. <laughs> maybe that's the reason she's broke. Maybe. You know what? It's not done. So in the past, like we have taken trips, but I've paid for the trips, I've paid for the hotel, I've paid for the rental of the car. That was your if we've been to concerts, I've paid for the tickets. He does what he can when he can, but he doesn't do enough. You know what I'm saying? But he does what he can when he can. But it's gotten to the point where it definitely sucks because I'm not doing as well financially. I can't afford to do things for two people. I can't even afford to do things just myself right now. So because I can't afford to do things for two, we actually don't do anything. We haven't done anything. Like if I'm being for real, for honest, like in September, for my birthday month, he did he does celebrate me around those times though? He does celebrate me around the holidays. He does. You caught that? Did you catch what what this broke girl said? <laughs> Repeat it back to me. He doesn't do much, but no, she used a very important word in there. She said for my birthday month. For my birthday month, he did. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You can't assume. But a birthday month sounds if like... you're broke, a month is crazy. Hold on, let me Google birthday month so I... Because I, I think I know what it means, but I don't know. My birthday month. For a broke girl, that is a crazy thing to... My for anybody, month. I think it's like such an attention-whoring thing to take 30 days out of a whole month to be like self-absorbed about celebrating yourself constantly and have people celebrate for you with gifts and shit. And I got a birthday two weeks. That's an assumption. She's just talking Why? about Because all the people in the different rooms of where I work want to wish me happy birthday. The celebration lasts because I got a different circles to go to. But I don't expect people to buy me presents for two weeks. It's my birthday! <laughs> When was it? 12, 12 days ago? Just You want to know how arrogant this no, is? No, I can't just believe that <laughs> But we can't just assume that she's doing that or that that's what she means, that he was buying her gifts and celebrating her all month. If he's broke, like, how is he able to even buy her gifts all month? So I don't... We need to... You know, Americans more. proclaim that America is the greatest country on earth and all they get is one day for their independence. This bitch gets a whole month and she broke. Why the greatest country that? on earth gets one day. To celebrate me around my birthday, but yeah, y'all claim y'all so it was just some shade, some underlying shade. <laughs> I mean, I, I hear what he's saying, but it was just like, okay, that's a weird thing to bring up. And you're talking about y'all claim y'all the best country November, December, <laughs> January. So, for the past four months, me and him, we just been like sitting ducks, and yeah, it just, it sucks. Like, it's crazy because I don't think, like, I feel like females come <laughs> on <laughs> online and talk about, like, look what he bought me. Look what he got so me. Look, I'm look getting rid of social me. media. You just want to compare yourself to other people that you don't even fucking know. Exactly. You're comparing yourself. Yeah. You see how dumb that is? You are comparing yourself to people you don't know. And it's like the ones that are dating the broke men. We don't talk about it. But it's like, no, I mean, I don't know. There has to be, like, a conversation about it. And it really sucks. Like, Who are you talking to? Why are you triggered? Oh, man. It's just a book. Okay. Mm -hmm. Man, man you, if my girl would have done this, That's like, you're is. broadcasting. Yeah, I tell you, cast the thing that your financial situation. To your financial situation. To people you don't fucking know. Uh, yeah, it is better. Okay. It's crazy. And you ask me why I'm triggered? I don't even know why you're not. <laughs> Put this on me. Because the, I've already realized that this generation, they document everything. They document their period cycle. They document their own financial. They document themselves committing crimes, Stigan. They document themselves stealing money. They document themselves defrauding banks. 
They document it and they're like, here's how you guys do it. And they get 20 years in prison. Am I shocked that a bitch said, my boyfriend's broke and I hate him and I can't wait to tell y'all and you guys should feel bad? Am I shocked? But you're a bitch triggered, so I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like it's kind of getting to the point where if I'm not the breadwinner or if I'm not, if I don't somehow make my life lead me up to making income for two, I don't think that I'm going to be able to be with this person. And it just really it's sucks happened, because yeah, it's he, like I said, he has like the best personality hands down. So I'm on here to ask, what do I do? And don't be too cold. Like, don't be too rude. You know what I'm saying? Because I had my narcissist ex-boyfriend who made way more money than I did. And, you know, that wasn't the answer. Like, so it's like, where is the common ground? Like, and obviously I do have a little bit of fear. Like, if I stay with him during this whole time and I continue to help out is he gonna just walk away when he does better it, it's just uh, it's so Lord scary it's so crazy because it's like oh, i really boy. really like him and i really 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 like don't want to like not be with him but at the same time too like i'm too effing old to do this shit. like i've already spun around this block a few times like yeah, what happened to tell your friends shit? Right. Yeah. Sure you what happened to, to Dear Diary? Very pretty girl, but very goofy. Well, what so. happened to, like, hey, girl, what happened? Hmm. Broadcasting this shit is wild. She might be lying. She this might that. be made up. I Who guess. Knows? That's also very common. You know what I will say? And this is probably just a, a me thing. I just don't feel bad for poor people. When they just finished telling me how they just took a bunch of trips, paid for a bunch of rental cars, a bunch of hotel rooms, and now they're poor. Yeah. There's just something about it for me where it's like, when I was broke, would I take trips? Sure. But they were budget trips recognizing, like, I didn't have that much disposable income. So if I have a down year or down months, like, all this luxury that people are telling me I can afford, I can't. So I'm staying in a hostel. I'm staying in stuff where whether I take this trip or not, my budget for the next couple of months is not going to be affected. But the way she talk about money, the way she talk about all this stuff and paying for her partner, like, why are you paying for trips for two people that you he's not afford. pitching in much in? And I don't want to pick you're not sure if you got financial security for the next year over. Congrats. There's just something about the irresponsibility of that? people and how they spend their money and how they go from, like, doing okay to, like, absolutely poor. And you listen to some of their decisions, like, bitch, I didn't even do that when I was twice your income. How the fuck are you making these choices with half of mine? It's just, there's something about it that I'm like, yeah, listen, times are tough, but you know what's tougher? Your decisions. That's the real toughness. That's the real crisis for you to overcome. Not your ability to make money, your ability to overcome your own stupid financial decisions. The way that you spend shit. Like, when I listen to her talk, just from the little bit I had, I'm like, I can already tell this person's not good with their money. And also, like, the idea of paying for my partner's trip with me, if I'm, like, abjectly poor, I'm not too in a trip where I'm going to be spending a lot that can put me at risk. Why are you paying for two people when that's a risk for you? Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, crying about the consequences of the worst case scenario that was very likely even a year then. I don't understand that. You always knew this could be a possibility. If you didn't, then you don't know how to manage money, and that's what you need to fix. Stop worrying about how he broke his or whatever. And if he's dragging you down, don't take him on trips. If you can't afford it and also have a lot of disposable income afterwards, don't take him on trips. I don't know. It's just it's something about that that really bothers me. And if you want to, you and your partner can still take trips. You guys can drive an hour away. Go to places where you guys got family so you can stay with them. There's all kinds of reasonable things where you and your partner can have cool experiences not and not spend a lot of money. But you telling me you can't afford trips to pay for hotels, car rentals, flights. Like, don't take those trips. There are trips you can take that are budget material. Boy, so you sound triggered. Yeah. Why are you triggered? I'm triggered by poor people keeping themselves poor. The thing that happened is... Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm and, then, I'm and then worsening their situation. Yeah. So that's why I'm poor. No, I'm, I mean, I'm not triggered at all. But I'm more so uh, confused 
why you would keep yourself poor by, you know, the decisions that you make and then you're coming online to complain about it and talk about it. That's what confuses me the most. If you want to be terrible with your money and, you know, stay in poverty or whatever, do what you do. That's your business. You grown. <laughs> but you come online to talk about it, complain. Like, girl, shut up. All you, the things that you're saying, uh, everything that you're saying right now, oh, you can drive an hour, those were not an option. They were not an option. You know why they were not an option? Because, because her net neutral, her comparison is people online. Girls she don't even know. So she's trying to compete. It's like all them kids that trying to compete with rappers with the chains and shit like that, not knowing all them chains are rented and stuff. Like sure. That. So now they do all these bunch of fuckery to have those chains and end up in prison because they do fraud and this and that and that. All these people... All these people are, rent, are are renting their jewelry. The same thing whenever, you know, I call that the Beyonce effect. You know, you're going to have a whole ass track and girl talking about, oh, I'm not single ladies. Meanwhile, she's not single. But you buy into that. You buy into everything that's going on on social media. I got, that's the, that's the norm. No, it's not. It's all fabricated. Mm -hmm. So it, it was never an option. She got she to gotta compete with people she don't even know. And they be lying. And don't even care. And they be getting beat. Like, you don't know what's Anyways, she took down her um, don't know. account. Yeah, of course. She was getting flamed. Accountability is hard in the streets when you belong there. Now, listen, dating a, a person who doesn't make money, for some people, like, you know, she talked about how dating a rich person was the answer because, like, that person didn't treat well. Like, yeah, obviously being treated well is more important, but also having a partner who can pitch in is important. Man or woman, if you don't make that much money, having a partner who doesn't want to work and doesn't really pitch in or really can't afford to, especially when you're in your 30s, like, it's just not a viable option. You need somebody who can, who can help financially so it's okay for her to not be okay with dating somebody who's having big broke when she's in her 30s that's a respectable thing going online to talk about it absolutely Chris. not talking about your partner and how any solutions people while well, this shit could go viral yeah, any second it. absolutely Chris. not you know i'm not i'm not mad at people for wanting partners who can financially contribute okay but the three things that stood out to me is like she has no judgment considering she posted this fucking shit online while in the relationship not after she already broke up with him while in it looking for solutions to fix things i guarantee you this guy can't afford to pitch in much and he's treating you really well and he's a really good stand-up dude he probably don't feel great about the fact that he can't pitch in financially well mm -hmm. anybody who's a good person who sees their partner breaking their back and they struggling and they really can't afford to help you're not going to feel great man or woman um i would argue that he wouldn't even let her pay for trips so mm, is he a great person if this is real mm, mm, mm. Because real men who do feel some type of way about having women pay, you know, for shit for them, they're not even going to let you. They're going to be like, nah, no, I'm not going on a trip. I don't even have the money. I'm not going to let you pay for my, my bitch. <laughs> you know, like, no, they'll say some shit like that. You know, they're not, they not about to let you do that. So, yeah, I would argue that he probably isn't the best person. Or he's not a real man. That's my opinion of a real man. I don't think a real man should just be like, yep, I'm sitting with my feet up while you paying for shit. La -da -da, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> like, I, I just don't. I don't agree with that. Honestly, I don't agree with women doing that either. But well, that's a whole other conversation. So, but especially a man doing it, that's just This is broadcasting this room. Okay. It's trash. But then just her talking about money and the way she talks about it, I can just tell she just don't spend it right. Like, you're financially struggling all this shit, but your nails look like that? Those are expensive fucking nails you got. Oh, I wouldn't pay attention. Yeah, she's annoying. This is a very stupid situation, girl. I don't know why you brought this to the internet. But, like I said, it might be all made up. People want clout very badly, so maybe she knew it would go viral, and she just made all of this up. She might be single. <laughs> Who knows? Or it could be real. If if it is, she's very slow. This, this is stupid. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!